What's happening, everybody? So today we're just going to be uh, doing a quick video, just talking about a few of the things that are going on in the uh, crypto market right now. Um, good and bad, I guess you could say. Um, so uh, pretty much what I want to talk about first off, as you guys can see here already, is uh, Paxos. So uh, Paxos, the Pax Dollar, which is a uh, stable coin. And um, if you guys don't know about Paxos, you can uh, easily come here and... Um, check out the uh, Paxos website at Paxos.com. I just don't want to go through all of this because I'm trying to make this video as quick and short, sweet and straight to the point as possible. Um, definitely go ahead and follow me on Twitter though. So I do want to get that out here because like, as I always say, guys, I can get information out on Twitter a lot faster. Uh, so I had posted this like the day of like, maybe like not too long after um, the whole uh, incident went down. And uh, pretty much what it looks like is the uh, SEC is uh, trying to deem, deem stable coins as uh, securities. So that's going to be uh, really, really, really big in my personal opinion for the uh, crypto space. And we're definitely going to have to pay attention to this. Uh, so what I'll go ahead and I'll do is I'll open up two different um, articles here. So this is on the uh, Wall Street Journal, as you guys can see here. And right now, the uh, New York regulators have directed a crypto company to stop issuing one of the largest pegged cryptocurrencies as a government clampdown on the sector widens. And uh, pretty much uh, Paxos is the uh, trust company which issues and lists the uh, Binance dollar pegged cryptocurrency uh, BUSD. So if you guys are familiar with BUSD, this is why I like li looking into like really small articles and like just keeping up with crypto, even the small things is very, very important because I know quite a few people in the crypto space were shocked when they found out that um, Paxos was actually in charge of uh, BUSD and um, Binance really didn't have as much to do with it and like they didn't create it basically. So um, BUSD is also known as the uh, Binance US dollar, which is a stable coin backed by the US dollar on a one-to-one -one basis. And Binance and Paxos actually partnered to launch it in uh, 2019 and uh, said the stable coin was approved by uh, New York's uh, financial regulator. And um, with the uh, Binance US dollar, it actually kind of uh, strayed from its uh, dollar peg and it went as low as uh, 98 cents according to uh, coindesk data and it's a uh, pretty much a rival uh, to tether at the moment and uh, that's just that with uh, this article what i um, really want to really want to get into is um cz's tweet here in a moment after i uh, show you guys a few things here so as you can see right here we have, uh, you can see this banner up here on the uh, Paxos website that just recently popped up. So starting February 21st, Paxos will be halting minting, um, will halt minting new uh, BUSD stable coins. And Paxos will allow customers to redeem BUSD for USD on or convert their uh, BUSD to a uh, USDP. So pretty much with this, guys. I mean, they're actually giving people the chance to kind of uh, get out. So it's not like one of the type of things where it just happened and like everybody just got blindsided. So obviously that's great because like not many people are getting like as hurt as they could have gotten from this. But uh, this is definitely uh, not good at all. And it's going to be uh, very interesting to watch how this pans out in the um, future because um, stable coins play a really, really big role in the uh, crypto community. And there's two sides to the story there's the side to where people say that it's not a security because it's worth a dollar it's a stable coin and um, there's the other people that say it is a security because when you put your money into the stable coin you're doing it to kind of stay out of altcoins in the uh, rest of the market when you could rather just keep it in the dollar in the first place instead of having it in a cryptocurrency but uh, i'm I'm on the um, opposite end of uh, that one. But anyways, guys, that's what's pretty much going on right now. And um, this is going to be very, very big to watch how um, this like plans out, especially with things like uh, CBDCs and stuff coming out and um, the uh, whole banking sector as a whole, just um, trying to get their hands in on a uh, crypto as well. And um, everybody just pushing for more regulatory clearance. Uh, clar um, clarity and I honestly believe we're going to get that very soon as we see like small things are starting to pop up here and there a lot more frequently when it comes to um, bans and um, regulatory things in the uh, crypto space and um, anyways guys so CZ actually did come out he did a tweet thread on uh, BUSD and pretty much said um, in summary that um, 
they are supporting um, Paxos to the best of their capabilities, obviously, as you guys can see here for the foreseeable future. Uh, but they do uh, foresee users migrating to other stable coins over time. And uh, he just came through and um, just put a lot of uh, information out there. So if you guys want to go ahead and read that tweet, definitely go ahead and do so. As you guys already know, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And um, it's just really interesting to see what's going on right now with this, especially around the time that we have so many things just kind of snowballing into place right now. Uh, just political things and um, just uh, glo things going on globally in general. Like we had the thing uh, issue in... Um, Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania with the uh, contamination and then we've had just uh, countless like events like shootings and um, we've had just random UFO sightings and um, the whole um, thing with Paxos and uh, we've had just a crap ton of stuff happening and there's also good stuff that's been happening as well that's kind of getting shaded and hidden because so much bad things are happening and like the bad things are mainly what people are covering. So uh, one of those uh, good things that are happening right now at the moment would be this right here, which is really, really interesting. And it's not getting as much coverage as it should, as I believe it should at least. So um, pretty much Siemens in actually issued their first uh, digital bond on the blockchain. So the uh, German industrial giant actually came through and issued its first digital bond on the uh, public blockchain and the bond has a face value of uh, 60 million and a maturity of a year. And pretty much the uh, blockchain allows the bonds to be sold directly to investors and makes paper global certificates and central clearing um, unnecessary. So it makes it a lot easier for them because the uh, German industrial giant is uh, using this blockchain technology to kind of uh, offset the um, traditional way of uh, doing things with bonds. And it's going to be interesting to see because I believe in the uh, future we're also going to be able to be trading stocks 24-7 and things like that through crypto, even though we can already do that. Um, but there's just a, a lot of uh, things you got to go through in order to even be able to uh, remotely um, be able to do things like that with um, trading. But anyways, with the traditional market equities. But uh, anyways, this is like really, really big news when you think about it, like the first digital bond on the blockchain and not many people are talking about it right now because everybody's uh held up with uh paxos and things like that and um just with uh everything else that's happening globally in their country and things so it's uh just interesting to see just the small subtle things that are coming out over time and um this would be on um matic if i uh didn't already mention it, i'm pretty sure i didn't even uh bring that up actually so this would be on uh polygon and this is really, really, really huge, guys. And I just can't, I, I can't even explain the importance of like how huge this is for uh, the crypto community as a whole, guys. So Matic has a ton of uh, partnerships and just a ton of things that they've got going on here. And the uh, fact that they were able to pull this one off as well, on top of um, all the other things that they've pulled off in the past that we've seen, just uh, kind of solidifies the fact that they're here to stay and um, that they're definitely going to be a big name in the future of uh, crypto. And uh, here's just another source for everybody, just in case everybody wanted to see it from something like uh, Coindesk. So pretty much the Siemens issued um, blockchain-based euro-denominated bond on uh, Polygon blockchain. The $64 million bond has a maturity of one year. So that's just really, really huge and um, really big for um, Ethereum and uh, Matic because uh, Matic is um, a layer two based for ethereum so anyways guys back to the uh, binance stuff so this is the binance chart right here as you guys can see there is a uh, death cross here on the uh, moving average and that's usually very very bearish and i mean uh there's nothing that i really need to tell you guys i mean you're pretty i'm pretty sure i'm pretty confident in you guys that you guys could kind of see what i'm seeing here and uh if even if we zoomed out on the uh, bigger story it's not looking any better to be honest here especially when you go to the uh four hour it's just not looking good at all so um that's what we're looking at with uh binance and uh, centralized exchanges are just continuing to get uh absolutely demolished here uh, anyways let's go ahead and take a look at uh bitcoin at the moment because we did just recently have the uh fed come out 
with the uh, information that they came out with on the uh, 14th yesterday. And it really didn't move the markets in either direction as hard as I expected it to. So um, that's very interesting to say the least, but we are still on our um, uptrend here. And this is for the uh, market cap with uh, the Bitcoin dominance. And as you can see here, Bitcoin still holding a um, decent dominance over the entire market at the moment. And we're still moving up. We're coming up to this point right here, which has been a um, subtle level of resistance. It hasn't been a like serious, serious level of resistance, but it has popped up quite a few times. And as you guys can see here, we came up to it and got rejected and sent down. And um, it's happened over here. We peaked above it and then we couldn't get any higher and came back down. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens when we get here again, because we did break above it here. And that's when we took off. We got up to here and we reached this level of uh, resistance right here, which we've came up to quite a few times as well. And we've actually uh, flipped it and turned it into support back here during the uh, bull run. But um, for right now, that's just the general direction at where uh, Bitcoin is heading with the um, Bitcoin dominance and the uh, market cap. And with BTC itself, actually, we're looking at, yeah, similar to what the rest of the market is seeing at the moment. And uh, me personally, though, uh, I had came out and I uh, did a post on this on my Twitter. Definitely follow me on Twitter if you're not following me on Twitter already. I had, uh, came through and did a post on this and I uh, pretty much said that um, at the moment, I am... I have my crypto that I'm holding. So if we move and we go into a run, I'm obviously going to be okay but I'm still holding a decent amount of stable coins because part of me just feels like this is not over just yet. And we may be able to see either a retest of the previous low, which means uh, 15 probably would be the bottom in that case. If we did go down there and then we bounced up and then just didn't come back or maybe 15 wasn't the bottom and there is still a bottom that has yet to be discovered. So I'm definitely um, keeping cash because cash is still currently king. There's uh, tons of places that are laying people off right now. And um, there's just so much uncertainty in the um, market and uh, just the world in general right now. And it's just um, it's the safer bet to stay a little heavier in cash compared to a uh, risky assets like um crypto and stocks and things at the moment but i'm definitely holding enough crypto to where if we did go into a bull run i would be more than happy with uh what i have so that's pretty much where i'm sitting at here for right now i just wanted to do this quick video for you guys just so you guys can kind of see um where the market is and this is for the day and uh this is one thing that i wanted to bring up that's actually related to the whole paxos thing so with uh paxos and the whole um, sec going after uh, stable coins thing that actually when people think about it think about it this way when they came after paxos and um stable coins and they've been uh, pressing the gas down on that that kind of forces people to move from the stable coins into altcoins or into large caps so now we're starting to see more volume pump into things like um, altcoins, and that's why they're all green right now. As you can see, there's like, I don't even think I see, oh, yes, I do. Uh, all right, so we have PaxG right here. That's red. We have uh, stable coins are red, and um, there are a few things that are red, like a uh, sandbox and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, most of the market is green, and that, that kind of says something. That's a statement in my own personal opinion. But when you do check um, for the uh, week with the uh, market cap, everything is uh, red, but it's not too like heavily red as we've seen with the uh, rest of the bull, uh, bear market. So it does kind of seem like things are starting to calm down just a little bit because we are back to those um, pre-FTX debacle um, lows at the moment. So we've uh, came up off of the uh, recent low that we have set in now, and we're back before the whole uh, FTX debacle thing happened. So for everybody that's thinking that maybe they're late and um, there's no time, if you kind of come back and you look at it, um, you've got more than enough time in my own uh, personal opinion here. As I said before, I'm not a financial advisor, and uh, this isn't financial advice, but um. This is an old chart, so <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of stuff all over the place here. So um, just look at this here. Uh, we're still pretty down. We're still pretty low, and we haven't came across this. Now, once we get across this orange line here, which would be 29K for me personally, 
that if like if I don't have all my positions in place by that point in time, then maybe it's like, OK, I'm about to beat myself up for this one for missing this out. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, put this information out here and I just bring up a few things and just talk to market for a little bit. But I'm definitely um, doing a lot more content if you guys haven't noticed. So definitely expect some more content. If you guys got any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll definitely get to you. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.